Hello, I'm Matt Bichard with Neri, and I'm in London for EPRA's annual convention. Joining me is Chris Grigg, the Chief Executive of British Land. Chris, how do you see the general outlook for the UK economy and property markets over the next 12 months? Look, it's been uh, a tough period in terms of economic news recently. So I think the, the outlook is going to be for slow growth, very slow growth potentially in terms of the overall economy. Uh, in terms of the property markets, increasingly we see strong signs of polarization. So the best real estate has a very good bid to it. Um, anything that doesn't have strong income supporting it or isn't in an area that people really believe in, we think you know, there, there could easily be some fall in value. Mm. And drilling down a little bit, what is your outlook for the UK office and retail sectors? really reflects what I've just said in terms of the generic. In other words, if you look at the best quality uh, office buildings, particularly in London, then we think the outlook looks pretty good. There's a shortage, for example, of office space in particular uh, in the West End and in the City of London. Um, outside of London, it's going to be tough because the economic activities, uh, you know, not, not so great. And we certainly have some signs of excess supply in regional offices. Um, in retail, again, the same story. What we continue to see is good leasing activity and in the investment market good investment activity good interest in the best quality assets away from those very high quality assets it's it's more problematic and it's more two-way and what do you think EPRA's priority should be over the next year Look, the nature of EPRA is that we've got to focus on several things. But from my perspective, if you look at, for example, what's going on in Brussels, um, I think it's very important that EPRA is able to state the case in a good, clear way for real estate in the European market. And we know there'll be sp some specific legislative issues that we've got to be careful about to make sure that the real estate case is being put and put clearly. Um, and just watch out that, uh, you know, at a time when regulators are under real pressure, uh, that something doesn't happen that has kind of unforeseen, uh, unintended consequences, which would be bad for our industry, and yet kind of doesn't achieve anything for anybody else. Right. And looking at British land specifically, what do you see as being the, the key factors driving your growth going forward? Of course, we are um, we're subject to the UK economy. Like as you'd imagine, ninety five percent of our assets are in the UK. But what gives me a lot of confidence is where those assets are. In other words, we've got you know our our, our office business is all in London, effectively, all but a tiny part of it, um, and our and our retail business, which is our biggest single business, is well spread across the UK and is disproportionately, almost entirely, in fact, in those areas of of high quality where we see continued opportunities for high leasing activity and some rental growth. And, and lastly, what impact or boost do you think uh, your property specifically or, or the property markets in general may receive from the Olympics coming up? You know, I think it's going to be a great uh, window on the world for the UK in general and, and London in particular. You only have to walk uh, around uh, here right now, uh, and we're in London obviously, to see how much work is going on to put the UK and in, in, in London in particular in great shape for next year. So I think it will have a positive impact. It's hard to uh, figure out exactly how much, but I think it'll be a positive impact. Great. Chris, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Our pleasure. My great. pleasure. Great. For more on the international real estate landscape, be sure to visit REIT.com as well as EPRA.com.